Hello and welcome to the review of the Lord of the Rings Tarot. Here is the back of the cards, layer reversal I might add, and then here is Major Arcana. Okay, first off, this deck is quite interesting. As you obviously know, it is the Lord of the Rings based. Um, it's odd the way they did the symbolism in here. The reason I say this is mainly just due to the fact that, oh, how do I say this? It's just odd one that they made a deck for this. I mean, if you're a complete nerd and you love Lord of the Rings and that, perfect deck for you. But actually, this deck has a hidden agenda. Probably like, what do you mean hidden agenda? Well, um, if you've heard of the Dishonored Tarot, or if you've heard of the Dishonored video game, the Dishonored Tarot came with it when you either pre ordered it, or you could just buy it at the store. The Dishonored Tarot is a tarot deck made for the game. Um, it's not unlike the Lord of the Rings Tarot, however, it is n completely unusable for tarot readings, and I will sure explain that in its video. Anyway, but in that tarot deck, um, the Minor Arcana are completely bad too, but anyway, um, they both have a second agenda, which is a game which can be played with the deck. See, in this deck, however, it shows the actual symbolism of the tarot cards and stuff like that. However, some things, it just shows scenes from um, and it just plops, like, at the top of the card, things in that would represent or correspond to, um, the Tarot of Symbolism. For example, in the Minor Arcana, which, uh, coming up, say it's like the Five of Wands, instead of, well, you'll see it here soon. Anyway, um, but the, I'm not exactly sure what the game is called that goes with the Lord of the Rings deck. I know a game can be played with it, it explains it in the manual, but that's all I know. I don't actually own the deck myself, so I'm unclear on that fact. But anyway, here are the Minor Arcana, the Wands, and now I will explain to you what I was saying. As you see, um, you don't actually... The, the wand or whatever is not actually in the scene. It is just a picture that floats above the entire thing. It's not a part of the What's happening within the scene, if you know what I mean. Some of them, they may be spread throughout, like here we have torches though, but they'll spread, maybe spread throughout the scene or whatever, but some of them don't actually take place or are being used in the scene, if you know what I mean. There are decks like this in several different places, but this is the way it is. Um, at the bottom of it, it has like a little story that corresponds to the card itself. And at the top, right corner, I'm not sure what it's for, but showing different symbols um, some of those are shields, there's like a yellowish ball in some of them, and then some are red, some are green, like this one with the yellowish. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. But I'm assuming it has some sort of detail to correspond with the game, which we play with these cards. Um, the game that goes with the Dishonored Tale is called Nancy, which is a strange game, which you can actually play with normal playing cards also. And this one, here are the cups. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the game could be called, or how it's even remotely played. As, as I said, I don't own this deck, but I do know from my research on it that you can play a game with it, so it's got its own hidden agenda. Um, I mean, I guess you could read with these cards, but honestly, when it comes to the symbolism for them, some of it's quite altered. I mean, for reading purposes, I wouldn't suggest much. If you're a nerd who loves Lord of the Rings, I suggest it. If you're a collector, eh, it could be a good deck to collect. Um, and there's probably other decks which are designed just to go with some sort of series or whatever, and are used to play a secondary game. There's probably several decks like that. But, um, the only ones I know of are this and the Dishonored Tarot, as I said, and if I had to pick one over the other, I'd pick this one over the Dishonored Tarot because, well, I just like this one better because, I mean, at least it tries to be a tarot deck. As you see with the symbolism and um, the suit things above and all that, where the other one does not. Um, another thing about this deck, see here are the swords, it is also a good fantasy deck. I mean, if you like fantasy and stuff like that, this could be a deck for you because, well, Everyone loves a good fantasy, and if you're a huge fan of Lord of the Rings, or also known as The Hobbit, which is where I think this one is based off of, as I have to say, this is based off of the book, Lord of the Rings, not the movie, so therefore, no images of people from the movie will, will be on the deck, or the cards. Just to let you know. Um, uh, what else can I place in here about this deck? 
Um, whoever did this deck, which I'm not exactly sure, but they did a very good job, I have to admit. Um, the help that you can buy this deck is U.S. Game Systems, I do believe, if I remember correctly. Um, I got this off of tarot.com, so it has, there's a good chance. I do believe they have it, if I remember right. Um, I'm not exactly sure the price. Uh, most decks in their catalog are $18. Um, add shipping and handling, you know, that's 20-something. Um, most, and that's what I'm saying, that's most decks. Some decks that include books are more, like maybe 20, 30-something. Um, Pentacles now. And then you have your only cheap, cheapest tarot deck is the very tarot they have. Anyway, um, let's see, what else can I say about these cards? It's hard to say due to the fact that one, they're not, I mean, I mean, if you're a beginner reader, I mean, you might have difficulty with this deck due to the fact that it's more of a plain, I'm not saying it's a bad attempt at a tarot, I mean, it's an okay attempt, but it's not one of the best. Um, if you want a deck of this type, I would suggest it for a collector, for professional reading, I mean for friends, or the nerd friends, if you're one of those, I suggest maybe. Um, but when it comes to professional readings, like for a professional tarot reader, I would not suggest this deck. They might look at you and kind of laugh. I mean, some might not, but some may. There's only f there's a few select decks that would be good for t actual reading for people, like if you're a professional reader and have you have people pay you. Um, because the way they look, some also would scare people away, some would make them laugh at you. And believe me, those several that might make them laugh at you. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're ending, getting to the end of this now, so I want to thank you all for watching my review of the Lord of the Rings Tarot. And until next time, goodbye and keep watching. Bye-bye.